Uh, we're with the Festival of Balloons giving interviews today. So your son right now is up in this yellow helicopter above us. What's that like to be a parent of a father up there? Well, as an aviator myself and a lover of, of flight, I think it's exciting. And he wants to become a pilot himself. So um, more power to him of getting the experience that he wants. <laughs> we'll have to talk to him when he gets out here. But um, uh, are you going to ride also someday in helicopter? Uh, maybe. I don't know. How about the Festival Balloon? Have you been here before? We have. We've been here many times and we just love the night glow and in the morning when we go to work it's great seeing all the balloons up in the air. Yeah. Not a lot of places can say right in the middle of their town there's like a dozen balloons floating up. Exactly. It creates a peaceful atmosphere. Gotcha. So you guys live here in Tigard School District or Tualatin School District? We actually live in Sherwood. Uh, we used to live here in Tigard though but uh, it doesn't keep us from coming back here and enjoying the festival. <laughs> I'm silver, and uh, it was pretty cool. All right, did you get nauseous at all, or did you did you feel any G-force? No. Um, maybe in the turns, but that's about it. Sometime when you were turning, did it feel like you were like looking straight down to the ground? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So, um, you're not afraid to fly, I take it? Maybe you're no. a future pilot. Maybe. What do you think? Definitely a future pilot. Not scared of heights at all. Awesome. And you've seen other parts of the uh, balloon festival here. Have you seen any um, of the balloons? Um, yeah, a while ago, though. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you very much, and we wish you lots of success, and you did a great job flying. Yep. Nothing fell out. Thank you very much. Yep. All right. Here at the Tigard Festival of Balloons 2010, and we have with us a family, and their daughter just rode by herself in the helicopter ride. And give us your names, will you? Your name? Micah. Uh, Eugene? Maya. Maya, okay, so uh, you rode in the helicopter by yourself. It's landing right now. Tell us what that was like. Um, it was very fun. I could see a clear view. Wow, and you're pretty brave. How old are you? Five, almost six. Wow, Eugene, did you ever fly in a helicopter when you were five? <laughs> no, never. Not not until today. Wow, well, we're... You not even fly. Oh, not even today, yeah. Wow. Not at all. Well, we're very proud of you, and we hope you had a great time here at the Tiger Festival Balloons, and uh, we hope you come back for many years, okay? Sure. Thank you very much. We All like right. it. We had a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah. So, 2010 Festival Balloons, five-year-olds are flying in helicopters. Way to go. And a three-year-old also. Oh, she went too? She did that also, yeah. Wow, you're brave. Did, did you like it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You have some future pilots in your uh, uh, little Jean. Sure, yeah. All right, thank you. Great, thank you very much. Hi, my name is Don Notwang. I'm out here at Balloon Fest out in Tigard. Uh, what I have here is the HPI Baja. These vehicles are uh, fifth scale. They are run by a 26cc weed eater type motor. This particular one, this bug, has been kind of transformed from the original HPI truck. Uh, got close to about $2,000 invested. This body was painted by hand, by me. Um, I'm part of a, a Baja group called Oregon Ground Pounders, or known as Portland Ground Pounders. We were seen at Monster Jam earlier this year, and seen last year at Clark County Fair and the State Fair. We're hoping to get out to the Washington County Fair this year to have a little bit more fun with these. Uh, we have a very limited group of guys because these cars are very expensive. Just to get into it, you're looking roughly about $500 if you can find a good one off eBay. Uh, the price is very, you buy a brand new one, roughly about $800 to $1,000. They are very, very fast and weigh about 30 pounds. So whatever you do, you don't want to get hit by one. What we have set up out here is uh, an oval track for our cars. Uh, when we get a little bored with that, we do take the two jumps that are in the middle. 
and we have changed it up to sometimes a, a course type driving. And uh, how does this controller work? The controller is similar to like a slot car. In the early days we had you know, just the trigger for the slot car for fast and slow. Now we have incorporated a steering wheel so you can turn it left and right. Pushing forward gives you a brake, pulling back gives you a throttle. And what are the frequencies here on the side? This, this is just some changing of the servo. If you've got a servo that's going the wrong direction, you turn to the right, steering wheel turns to the right, the wheels go to the left. You can put this little switch over to one side and it will change it back the other direction. All right, let's go racing. Alrighty. Our web address is OregonGroundPounders.webs. That's .webs.com. I'm looking for more Baja drivers in the local area so we can have a little bit more fun. This is Don from the Tiger Festival Balloons. Thank you. All right. Well, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here they are, Terry Robband.